Hello world, this is Michael with LBC Fishing Lessons, basically the basics. In this video, I'm going to teach you and show you how to make what's called a double hook rig, or double loop rig, or aka high-low rig. Things are called by different names, different areas and regions. I just call it simply double hook rig. Here's a diagram. One of the most important things about this rig is you want to make sure that your hooks are spaced apart where they're not going to tangle and cross up with each other. That's very key for this rig. Components and tactic and terminal tactile that, that you need to make this rig are hooks, beads, snap swivel, and a barrel swivel. First thing you're going to do is take your main line and tie it to one end of a barrel swivel. Tie your main line to a barrel swivel. Next thing you do is take your leadering material and get a body length plus. I'll even go two body lengths. A body length and a half, two body lengths. You can always cut your line back. So then you tie your leader line to the other end of the barrel swivel. Nice and long leader line. Then you want to come down about two feet from that connection point and you're going to make your first loop. You can make either a surgeon's loop, a dropper loop, or and what's called the T-knot, which is a combination of those two knots. I teach that in other videos. But I made simply here just a surgeon's loop knot. After you make your surgeon's loop knot, at the knot, one of the lines, you want to cut it. Take your nail clippers, trim it, open that loop. Then you want to apply a bead and tie a hook. I like to use orange beads because orange mimics fish eggs. Also, natural fish food color is orange. Muscle meat, clam meat, shrimp. If you think about it, a lot of fish food is orange color. So I like to use those orange beads. Then to tie on my hook, I'm going to use the bridge of, of a guide, hang it upside down, and tie my knot. So I don't have to handle the hook. Always using pitch, pinch points. Twist and maneuver the line easier, tying on a hook. After you've tied your knot, always stress test your knots. And then trim your tag ends after you stress test. You always want to trim and leave about a quarter of an inch. Different kinds of hooks can be used depending on which kinds of baits you want to use. Then you go down a couple more feet from that one and you'll make another surgeon's loop. You'll cut it open, put on a bead, and then tie another hook. And then at the end of your line, put on a snap swivel. And that's where you apply a weight. The lighter the weight, the better fish when they bite they won't feel the resistance but you will need heavier weight to allow you to cast out further distances from shore this rig is fished on the bottom with the weight then above is one hook then a couple feet above that hook is a second hook let's look back at the diagram for a second So you have the weight at the bottom and you have one loop with a hook and a bead and another. You want these spaced about two feet apart. Two feet from your connection point, two feet apart, two feet to your weight. That way nothing tangles. You can pre-tie these rigs and keep them and store them in this rigging wallet from my sponsor at Vantic Sports. They sell for about $16 on Amazon. 
This will save you a lot of time in the field. Here's a double hook rig I have pre-tied right here, ready to go. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share. Give me that follow. I'll see you in the next one.